What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Khmer it's TSL Earth Map Gathering Storm. We are trying to win. Because, you know, I haven't done that yet. That Mali series was a bit of an embarrassment. We were, we were ahead the whole time and I just wasn't paying attention and we lost. So this time we're going to try to win. We're joint first in the space race. Maybe joint third. I think Korea's level with us, but we'll overtake them as time goes on, I imagine. But yeah, I think that's just because they started early, not because they're miles ahead. But yeah, we are trying to launch the moon landing. Germany is up to the same same level, and I think so is Korea. A few other civs in the race, although they're a bit behind already. Nubia, the Zulu, and I think one other civ might have started. I don't know who it was, but someone had started. Also, just had a little scroll around the map to see where it had been destroyed by climate change, really, but... And Australia have somehow grabbed the city of Bordeaux. Don't really know how that, that was amazing. Just eight tiles fertilised and given some science. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how Australia got that, but the UK better watch out. They might want some revenge for uh, being shipped off down there. <laughs> Can't believe they didn't even manage to take all of Australia. That is the worst part for them. <laughs> somehow... Japan managed to take a lot of it and somebody else. Who is it down here? Japan and Indonesia took most of it away from them. I must have Japan actually has a lot of stuff down here. Keep an eye on that. Our city's still doing fine. It's just got really, really bad production. And we've built all the small things. I mean, the problem is no tiles, so we can't get any industrial zones or anything that boosts it. Oh, our, sat our first satellite. Nice. I don't know... I think we already had that. This is just like two small things at the same time. Dusty and Tired, our first trading post in Australia. There we go. Finally, we trade with Australia. Took a while. I mean, you know, it's not like they were being a good good neighbour. They were declaring a war on us all the time. So that's fair enough. In terms of our next war, I haven't thought about it too much since the last time. I think there's so many options. It's kind of difficult. Japan's a good option, we, we would risk losing that city near Australia, so we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I think people are saying China as well, I think I've got an alliance with them up at the mo- no, okay, that's Mongolia that's announced me. Okay, where's China? I've lost China. There he is, he's denounced me too, okay, so we can actually invade China, that's fine then, we'll do that. And that'll at least allow us to look really strong on the map because at the moment we look a bit too spread out we do need to repair the walls in all these cities i always f i forget i didn't even know you need to repair walls but apparently you do <laughs> who would have thought but yeah if we invade china that should give us just enough strength to keep ourselves in out in front i think we are we are in front on most things these cities are really starting to contribute at this point it's all of them close to, okay not the north american ones but the mexican ones and the South American ones all around 10 population. Proving very useful. Damn it. Someone damaged our spaceport. That is just... Just great. Can I build a spy to like stop them doing that in the future? I hope so. Repair that library. Oh, what do you need? These things all take forever. I have about to, three turns I'm going to buy them stuff. So it doesn't matter. But just repair the walls. I assume it repairs them all the way, although three turns seems quite quick, so maybe not. It'll probably take like ten years to repair everything. That'll be that'll be our luck. Hmm. 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 Oh. Okay. Our capital needs housing or food. <laughs> Forty turns until starvation. I assume I've used one too many tiles for buildings. Or something. I will try and figure that out somehow. I'm not sure what the scenario is to increase food. How do we go about doing that? That's the one thing I don't know how to... You can't like find anywhere. So that's not too useful. Hmm. That doesn't matter. Nine turns for this. That's all that matters right now. <laughs> okay. Wow. 250 turns. Let's not do that. <laughs> Repair the water mill. Everything else was 40 turns plus. Nice. 
just just great. Let's move everything over towards China, just in case I do decide that that's who we want to go after. I don't I don't have an airport over there, so hopefully our planes and we can only have one per city, so hopefully they can reach from like down here. <laughs> hopefully, I was gonna buy one over here. That actually might be a good spot to go from as well. Let's bring the boats around. I don't know how many coastal. They have one coastal city, so they won't be too useful. But no, they might have some allies or something that get in the way. So we may as well take all precautions. Let's go helicopters. Oh, okay, no, uh, they tricked me. I thought they actually flied now to their destination over the sea as helicopters would. Instead of getting packed away into boxes. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I, I was always thinking about building an airport like on here, but we just never got around to it. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, we could have could have done with that. 7,000 faith, like I said. We could keep spreading it, but it's, at this point we're not going to win a religious victory. No one else is going to win one, so it's not the end of the world anymore to do so. So that's fine. Just keep on going. Okay, so they've got some rivers, some mountain tunnels, so the infrastructure's there. Not really that big of cities, to be honest. 8, 6, 12, 2. You could maybe leave them with the 2, just so we don't border like as Mongolia as much, or actually most of it's Persia, who we already border quite a bit. 71 grievances against me. Oh, aren't we using all our aluminium already? Great. Hopefully we can find some more. There is some more of some of the resources. I think there's some more oil somewhere. Um, I don't know. Somewhere, maybe. <laughs> Low aluminium is hurting some of our units. That does. Suck. I don't think we have any more of that. So that is one of the issues. There's some, some in like Cuba. I think in the central. Nope. There we go. There's some over here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. In that case. That is expensive. Can buy one for Faith? No, we can buy a Naturalist or a Rock Band, but not a Settler. Well, there we go. Grab one. Theatre Square? Not making too much culture. Oh, they're, they're all really good tiles. Such a difficult decision. <laughs> there we go. Please don't get flooded away instantly. Are you even building a flood wall? Apparently. Okay, whatever. Uh, there we go, get a workshop. We should go. How strong are they? I mean, we're number one, so... Just to use this, this is pretty helpful actually. Nope, where is it? There it is. One capital, only three people, oh no, two for Germany. But everyone else, only three have captured one other capital. Nubia have Congos and Macedon fell to the Samaria. No one else's capital's fallen. That's pretty embarrassing for the whole game. I'm looking in the wrong place. I was maybe looking at this. 139, 1775. Where is China? Is that them? 300. Okay, so we have four units to every one they have. Yeah, I don't think we need to be two. 150 grievances. Let's not do that. 175, 50. 50. In a different tier. Yeah, okay. Well, 50 is less than the rest of the options, so let's do that one. <laughs> let's see what we can do with this plane. I don't think we can do anything because there's no vision. Oh no, we can't. Okay, well, that was. That was effective. <laughs> oh, if I'd upgraded that first, they probably would have been able to cover the distance. Oh, wait, we have a tank. I think we just did it. <laughs> that was quick. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Um, we can actually attack more of them. Priority target. What does that do? Apparently I'm at war with Persia. When did that happen? Why does it not tell you this stuff? I assume we were in some sort of alliance. That's kind of worrying actually. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm sure we'll be safe. 
not so effective. Okay. Noted. I mean, it is one of their bigger cities, kind of makes sense. But yeah, we'll just take our time. <laughs> we'll get through it. Once the artillery gets close, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll keep this. I could have raised it, but I don't want Korea getting too many tiles. Let's build that monument two turns, and that'll stop it transferring away from us. I think if we keep the unit there, there won't be a rebellion anyway. And once we destroy China, it won't matter anyway. Well, nowhere for it to be influenced by. They will happily stay as part of the Khmer Empire. <laughs> Maybe if we take the capital next, and then we could peace out for this city and leave them with that one. That'd be nice of us. I don't think they'd accept that one for some reason. We have three extra trade routes available. It's a shame we can't vote in the Congress anymore. Mainly because grievances. Oh no, it's not. Okay, yeah, grievances and carbon emissions. Hmm. Is no one allowed to vote anymore? Is that. It's just everyone broken that one? I feel like I'm the biggest contributor. I mean, we're at the max level already, so it can't get any worse. So I guess that's good news. Stop, I don't care, one populate, good, they're all starving anyway. Not over here, but you know, same principle. I know I'm low on aluminium, okay? I bought a set though, I, it, it feels ages ago, it's just been one turn, chill out. Yes, we are still the by far biggest contributor. I don't know who this is in the red. I, oh, it's Korea. And then Germany's the sort of white colour, I assume. And that's Australia. The, we're the main four, like we're miles ahead of everyone else for some reason. Some people still on zero. Mainly from coal, a little bit from oil. See, at least most of ours is oil. We're, we're considering the world. I'm gonna go for nanotech. Oh, okay. This would be good. Thermonuclear devices. But I'm just gonna go for nanotech just because it's the next step of the science victory. Just so I'm, uh, I'm prepared. I can just build whatever I need to build next. It's gonna take a while. I don't know if I could have repaired with thingy with this, but okay. Well, I said I was gonna buy districts. Didn't realize they were all. Why can't I? Population's not high. Okay. Well, great. Really useful that. <laughs> no wrong place. Come over there. I mean, it won't matter. The spaceport will be built by that time. But if it gets damaged again, hopefully I might be able to just repair it with money. How? Okay, that city's got higher city defense, so that's probably not actually going to work. For some reason, that plane is more effective than the other ones. But maybe once the blue walls are gone, it shouldn't matter anyway. Can you guys reach from down here? Just one tile. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much a done deal. Missile cruisers. Awesome. Oh, wasn't sure they were going to come back. How's that? Did they just go invisible now? Is that how this works? Okay, so you can get into the city. So we just need to make sure every plane has been. There's one more here, but it won't let me use it. What? Why can't this one go? It can go. Does it just not want me to win? Alright, there we go. That's that done. Let's just skip that encampment. <laughs> They're not the most effective things, encampments. I think it has to be a bit of a closer war to be too effective. But there we go. That did work out. That is a bazooka army, a little bit, a little bit intimidating. We can upgrade our tanks to modern armor. That is just one tank. There is a tank army somewhere else. Upgrade them. That was a thousand gold. Most of the gold gone now. Build a monument. Come over here. Okay, all around, pretty effective. Could do with an encamp encampment, an airfield somewhere. Still. Okay, then we're going to lose loyalty if we settle on this island. I'm going to hope that tile's fine. And we don't lose it. That would be nice. And just hold on to it forever. Um, but yeah, that, that should work. All these volcanoes blowing up. I feel like it's happening a lot, but it's just because there's so many. Especially after my Mali game, when I was... I mean, every, every one of our islands is just next to a volcano. I did bring this upon myself. Almost all our cities in the New World also next to volcanoes. So sort of brought that on ourselves, didn't we? 
There's a wonder in there. It's the forest with like all the oil, like the rainbowy colours on the floor. We could definitely go for that. The limit keeps going up. The stockpiles. The oil is get just keeps going up. We've got pretty much everything. We don't have any iron. I don't know why, but we don't. <laughs> Even though we have a huge empire, the biggest land empire. Although assuming it's the same as Civ Five, that probably includes sea as well. But yeah, we have the most land. Into the information era, another dark age. Great, and we can't get out of it now because I don't think there's any eras. There might be a future era. There is for technology, but everyone failed because the requirements were far too high. Somehow Egypt scraped into a normal age, probably because they were in like last before and they got an easy one. But everyone else in a dark age, probably because there's too many sieves on the map for the being the main reason. One era score, and everyone's been boring. Era score for aerodromes, for spies, killing. Yeah, killing units. Well, we are actually doing that, so that sounds like a good plan. Can't get their units anymore from all the way away. Okay, apparently that plane just went. I didn't even finish clicking, but let's see how effective that was. They instant healed, damn it. How did that happen? Stop bring Last turn, didn't want to show me my planes. This turn, showing me nothing but planes. Useful. And there we go, that's those bazookas gone. Right, how do I get to this city? It's artillery. Okay, there are actually lots of roads. I was a bit worried there that there wouldn't be too many roads to help us, but there was plenty. Right, okay, you, this, that plane could still reach, but it decided to fly in a circle and do nothing. Great. Just, just what I always wanted it to do that. Can these boats be upgraded too? Yep. Missile cruisers, nice. I don't know if they have anything over here, but let's just have our submarine have a look around. Build a university. Build, I don't know, an aqueduct. Again, those three tiles are insane. There's no point removing them. Just get a builder. There's plenty of forest to chop down. Same with this city up here, just build builders, I guess. A trader, 18 turns again. I mean, everything else takes so much longer. Oh, wrong button. We do need some traders, so I'll get them in some of these cities. But that is going to be it for this episode. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.